Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So it's a Sunday and we're at the convent today. It's going to be one of the hottest days of the year so far and we've got a lot of odd jobs to do. So inside and outside. Ryan's also here working in his abandoned corner apartment and I want to introduce you later in the video to someone who is currently holding the camera. You may have seen him in some of the videos but without realising who he is. So let's crack on. First job of the day, I've got to cut the grass before it gets too hot. And I don't know if you remember, but the convent used to look completely different and now it's a lot more manageable. So yeah, I've got to push this one unfortunately, so let's crack on. The grass is cut, fantastic. It's not too hot still, but I've got another pressing job to do. I need to empty all of the sand out of this transit because Ryan has made a bit of a mess in his apartment from what I've seen from his video. And it's just pure destruction in his apartment. So obviously he needs to go to the local tip or dump on Monday. So if he can empty that, it helps him out a little bit. Plus the sand isn't going back and forth to the chateau every day. Cause it's like literally taking your work home with you. So let's do that. Right, what we need to do is empty all of the sand out of this transit tipper. If I take the chains off this so it doesn't automatically open when I tip it, the sand should all collect here because there's probably about 100 kg in total. So let's do that. So this chain means that it doesn't automatically open these hinges. This one as well, and it will stop the flat opening when it's tipped. So let's tip it and see if it all collects at the back, hopefully. The sand's just coming out of the back anyway. 
look at it, look, look at this shot here, Alex. It's so funny. Look, it's just... <laughs> That didn't go to plan, did it? And now the sound's all on the floor. So we've done it. There's a little bit on the floor, but most of it is here in the back. So if I put it down now, in fact, we can just shovel it from here, I think, actually. I don't know where to put it. So I've got this old plastic bin. We'll try and put as much as possible inside that and then we can use a couple of wheelbarrows. Hopefully that will be enough. Unfortunately, I'm not a weightlifter. I cannot lift this on my own. It weighs a... Right. He's gonna help, yep. Blimey, Ryan. It's like a dead body. Good, no. Okay, now the wheelbarrow. Fill it up. What we've got to do now is we've got to get the hose pipe clean all this sand out and then it's ready for Ryan on Monday or today. You're going to do it today? Today. He's going to do it today, he said. So he's going to unload his corner apartment renovation project with all the mess and destruction. So at least he can use it and it's helpful to somebody. I like keeping this transit nice and clean. So this is ready for Ryan to use now. Yesterday, he came to the convent on his own and did some work. And I sort of saw the thumbnail of his video without watching it, and it looked like pure devastation. So I think we should go and see what he's been up to, because he's got no idea what he's been doing. What on earth have you done? 
Nothing. Oh my good. Something. What? Look at it. It's utter devastation. What was wrong with the wall? Obviously the bottom wasn't very good. It was, it was completely shot. Yeah, I can see it's a bit rusty. It was, yeah, it's really like a moist, moist under there, you know? Um, Soggy. Yeah, what do you sweaty, think it could have been? Sweaty, Was it sweaty? It was sweaty. What yeah, do you, you think see. it could have been? Because um, I had a few comments, people saying, oh, be careful, you're gonna have to take the ceiling down because there's probably a leak. But no. No, it's just, no, it's just, what is it? Moisture. Moisture. It probably got damp in here over the years. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because wow. it doesn't seem to be coming from anywhere, you know, there's no like clear trail. It was just a whole kind of spread out of dampness. I like the wallpaper. Did you put that up? Um, no, no, someone else had the bright idea before me to put that up. Very, very 1960s, that is. Mm, very yellow and flowery. Yeah, very happy hippie, that is. That is. The good times. Yeah, yeah, yeah the good old days, mm. as they say. Not that we would know. No, um, I was born in the 90s, believe it or not. Um, still looking good though. But I'm taking all of this. What yeah. I've done is I've emptied the transit mm. and you can now use it. So yes. I would suggest putting it there. Outside the front door. Because the car park is empty today. Yes, yes. That's a fabulous idea. Put it out the front. And then take it and organise it in the back of the trailer, make it easier for unloading at the dump. Of course, I'm going to separate the plasterboard with the metal. Um, you should wear a mask in here with that um, five glass. Yeah, I masked insulation. up. I masked up like halfway through. Okay, I'll let you crack on, mate. You're doing a good right. job. Yeah. So if you strip this wall completely, we can restud it, re-insulate it, put a moisture barrier. Yeah. And have the new electrics put in. Mm -hmm. But we must keep the ceiling. Yeah, I mean, look at it. The ceiling is looking perfect. Have you not put anything up there to see what it looks like? Not yet. You should. What am I going to put up there? Just a little phone or something. I'll put a phone up, yeah, like record. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah record yeah. up like that. I'll do that, but for now, I just want to get rid of this mess because um, health and safety is my, one of my top priorities and this is not very healthy, nor is it safety. So we're going to remove this, like you said. Okay, I'll let you crack on, mate. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Yep, fighting the good fight. Happy days. He's got no idea what he's doing, has he? I heard that. <laughs> I have another job on the list to do today. This wisteria I only planted a couple of weeks ago and it's already grown a foot since. So we need to start thinking about adding wire for it to climb the building and cover the facade. Don't worry about these up lights because these are gonna be removed at some point. I'm gonna have nice exterior lighting set back, which will illuminate better because these up lights, they just illuminate up and it gives a bit of a weird effect on the stone. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that. Anyway, I've gotta make a hole for a raw plug. I'm gonna go in here on this joint so we don't make a hole in a nice piece of granite. And I'm gonna finish here. And obviously once it grows up, I can add more cable and more hooks to cover the building. So, got my lovely little impact driver thingy, not impact driver, perforator they call this in French. I don't know what they call it in English. Let's make a hole. It was a bit easy, wasn't it? A bit too easy, actually. Right, get a raw plug, tap it in. Okay. Now we get one of these hooks. That's going in lovely. Nice and tight. Not going anywhere. Now we need to add one up here. As we go higher, obviously we can keep adding more hooks, keep them quite close together like this. This is probably just over a meter. 
We can even add more in if it's quite a heavy vine, if it gets quite thick over the next few years, but should be okay. Right, so with the excess wire, we need to essentially come through here, tighten it up so it won't come off. Let's start about it here. Because we are only doing short spans, there isn't a need for tensioners because I mean, that's pretty tight as it is, and we're only doing a meter at a time. We'll do another meter at the top, and it actually makes it a lot stronger. But as the vine gets bigger, we can add more wire, because these stainless steel hooks aren't going anywhere. So you can see this long piece of wisteria that has grown literally from there to there. I need to now tie it onto this piece of wire. You don't normally wrap them around the wire, because as this root or stem gets really, really thick, it will encase the wire and we don't want that. We want it to be attached to it, but not growing around it as such. Um, so yeah, I'll go and find some string and we'll attach it. Right, I've got this very thin green wire because I can't find any string. I don't have any apparently. So what we're gonna do is take the stem of the wisteria up and just wrap the wire around it, not too tightly. We don't want to damage it. And now as this grows up, it will continue all the way up the wire and we keep fixing it. And as the stem gets more substantial, we use some thicker wire and we can get these even tighter. But at the moment it's just a guide. So yeah, that should work quite well. Happy with that, I've just got five more to do. <laughs> Better crack on there. Right, I finished all of the odd jobs today, an odd person doing odd jobs, but I want to introduce the new cameraman, Alex. So give us the camera here, Alex. There we go. If I can even remember what I'm doing. Here Hello, we everyone. go. So this is Alex, everyone. Nice to meet you. How old are you, Alex? I am 26 years old. From We're England. From England. Yes, I've come over especially for this, just to uh, try and help Billy out with some of his content, you thought, uh, filming and editing. You thought mainly. there'd be room for improvement. And, yeah, um... a little bit of room for improvement. So, <laughs> yeah, but no, you did a good job without me. So uh, I'm just here to build on the good thing that you started. That's the uh, Thanks that's a my lot, job. Mate. I appreciate yeah. it. That's and right. um, of course, we've got Ryan in the background, just doing his normal thing. And I do come as a pair as well. Layla, come here. Come here. We have brought the dog all the way from England too. But it's a very calm office dog. Yeah, this so, is Layla, everyone. Yeah. She is lovely. She's very calm. And uh, Ryan's best friend, I think, these days, isn't it? <laughs> all so, right, yeah. brilliant. Um, but you've got a few issues with the office. Yeah, a few issues with the office. There seems to be cheap kit just strewn about yeah, everywhere. Cheap kit. Um, Stuff we don't use. Yeah. A bit of a mess with organisation. So that is one of the other things that I will be bringing to this office is yep. some, uh, some organisation. But we need another shelf, really, don't we? Yeah, so, we do, mate. Um, I mean, if I take that off you, I guess, Ryan, no. I don't think he's too busy to help, are you, Ryan? No. No? Perfect. Then uh, I'll take that off you. If you help me get that other yep. shelf and then stick it here i think we could organize things just slightly better definitely especially Let's... this this needs a pride of place somewhere good well, we don't use that no not every day but we might get to that point it depends <laughs> if we have another four editors perhaps all right um yeah. so ryan you on board yeah let's crack on then nice there you go mate thank you very sorry, much sorry i'm bad at this no no that's great <laughs> <laughs> ryan alex wants us to move this along and put another shelf there if it will fit does that sound good yes should we just move it along without taking anything off it? Yes. Try that. If I just scoot this along. You ready? Yes. Slowly does it. 
keep going. Oh, oh, and no, because now we're no, the light switch is still okay, I think. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we'll put we'll put another one there, and we can still access the light switch there. So that's good. It's not a problem. Um, do you agree, Alex? Is that yeah, good? Yeah, that looks good to me. Okay, let's go and get the other one, Ryan. I can't believe you can move this lens off. <laughs> to you, to me. Oh, it will fit. That means we can actually move it back a bit as well. Wow. Yeah, that's perfect. Like a glove. That means we can brew this one back slightly, Ryan. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's actually in front of the light switch. Just made myself laugh. That would do, stop there. Yep. And now we've moved this one over. Okay, now all we've got to do is adjust the feet. I can do it, don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm right down here with you, Billy, on all fours, through the walls. We're all doing this just to make Alex happy. You know, yeah. It's not for ourselves. No. We are selfless people. We are selfless people. So selfless. Kind-hearted. Okay. Fabulous. 700 euros worth of ink. That's just crazy. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It is. The price of ink for that printer that we've got. The most expensive liquid in the world is not alcohol, it's ink. 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 Thanks, Canon, for wiping us out. Yeah. Terrible. Daylight robbery. Okay. Do you want to take over, Alex? Yeah, I can take over. I'll Do you want me to take the camera? Right. What am I doing? Just... Right. Grab anything you can, Ryan. Just start yeah? sticking it on the shelf and then we'll reorganise. Anything I can. Yeah. Gone the wrong way. Got it. Thanks, Ryan. Put it on a shelf. I've forgotten how to use this camera. There There's we go. the zoom. There we go. So selfless, as you said. Look at that. There we go. <sighs> right, here you go, Ryan. Thank you. Come on, Ryan. Get that. Slack him. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> so you've all met Alex, he does a fantastic job filming and editing these videos. They are much more entertaining, much longer and the music is better. So we're back at work tomorrow and there will be an exciting opportunity. And we're doing something a little bit different tomorrow because we're starting a new project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.